I'm married. I've been married for a year and 11 months and I have a kid. All the time, of course. I think about money a lot. So I think about money a lot. I think every day, plenty of times a day. Because without money, you can't get anything done. Because money answers all things. Not yet. Rich, in terms of money, no. In terms of lifestyle, yes. I would say we're just okay. Um, at least we can afford like the basic necessities. Uh, when I can afford everything at all times. We love ourselves. We play a lot. We sing for ourselves. Yeah, we're rich. Well, I've not been giving her anything yet. In child language, I need them to understand that she, nothing is free. So you get it when I have the money to buy it. When she gets old enough, I would let her know that money does not come easily and that she needs to be entrepreneurial so she can make money. But I wish to tell her spend wisely. In fact, I've been thinking of, I will create a YouTube channel for her, let her start, so she needs to start fending for herself already. So they all come to me now and say, Daddy, do you have money? And when I say no, they know they can't make requests. And if I say yes, they start making their request. Ah. Uh, it depends on the relationship I have with the person. First thing I say is, ah. <laughs> then I go like, how much? I try as much as possible to think if the person needs it, and I give. For some, I'll gladly give. For some, I'll say I don't have. Because I know the money is not going to come back to me. I always try to um, give what I can let go of. So if they tell me, when I say like how much, and they tell me one fantabulous amount, I know that if they don't pay me back, I'll get pissed. I say, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't have money right now. <laughs> Still spend wisely. Never spend everything you own. You earn, sorry. Growing up, I just used to save my money, everything together, and then invest. So, but now as a parent, I know that I have to start dividing my money into like different. Uh... Like I can't spend for myself only any longer. So, I need to spend every cobble, knowing that someone else needs it. Yeah, but as a parent, you know that. Um... Needs will not, never stop coming, so you learn to keep, to save more. Fine. Money. It's a tricky one because um, if you spend too much time at home, I don't know how it works for other guys. If you spend too much time at home, you're not going to make the money because the money is not at home. So when I first gave birth, my baby refused to. Take, we tried getting our nan. Even nans, actually, nan is like 2002 patin. She was not taking it. I had to start buying Aptami, and Aptami was like 8K, and she was using like one per week or one and a half per week. So it was just felt like money was just flying, like every time. Like the money was a lot. Because I know I need to hustle for my family, and I also need to be there for them, especially my children. and. Knowing that uh, the kind of workload we have as a working parent in Nigeria, um, you barely have that time for family. So yeah, time scared me more. At the same time, you have to learn to balance, balance it. So for me, I would say just balance, a balanced life. My parents actually tried, you know, they gave us what they could afford. And I, then I see like other kids that um, have other stuff that I would love, but my parents obviously could not get it for me then. So I would like to give my, my children this experience. Like I want them to be able to get stuff that are reasonable, um, that they can use, that would help them. I don't want them to be spurred, but I actually would want to give them the best. When they probably do not have regard for money and also do not know how to give, then I know there's an issue. Whenever I, I give them something above their age, which has never happened, that's not going to happen. I think I'll cross the line when they start acting like they're entitled to it. I mean, when they do not understand that, okay, I can't afford this now, they're still asking for it, you know. Maybe that's when they're feeling like, but for now, I don't think I am. Women, of course. Women. <laughs> they're more disciplined with spending. I think it's in their DNA to appropriate um, and cash properly better than men. I feel like the women around me, me especially, will be always 
always, you know, thinking about saving, investing, making sure that there's money. Um, even though things, you know, get a little bit hard, we always want to make sure that there's money around in the house. So I think women are more financially disciplined. They know how to keep money, they know how to save money, they know how to manage money. Dream vocation is... I think I need to ask my wife about that, I don't. <laughs> to be with my family, close to the beach, have time together to play, drink it, have fun. <laughs> I don't have any, any way in mind. <laughs> I would like to go with my family to the Netherlands. So my husband had been there and he was telling me a lot of nice stories. And then we've actually never traveled as a family. So I'd actually love to go there. And I had a peaceful, nice, and people are nice there with good food. So yeah. I think men spend recklessly. Men, of course. You need to ask that question. Men, of course. Yeah, um, okay. So because sometimes I misplace my priority, um, I probably give too much and I probably spend too much on things I do not need. Sometimes I, I go into the supermarket and I'm, I've picked a couple of things and I'm asking myself, do I really need it? But because I've picked it, I just pay for it. I, I don't know if I should say I admire it. He spends money anyhow, like... <laughs> like, as the money comes, we'll, we'll, he has this, oh, I can't come and kill myself, so he spends money anyhow. So basically, that's why I manage the money, so he doesn't bankrupt us. For instance, if I withdraw 10,000 at the office, before I get to, I'm sure I'm going to get back home with maybe 5,000 or 4,000, buying things I don't need in traffic. I get knocks on my door sometimes for favours. And even when I know I have some other pending things to do, I still give, so some other things suffer. But if it was my wife, she'll tell you when she doesn't have, even if she has, because she needs to use it for something else, so. In as much as I don't like that aspect about him, I feel like sometimes you should actually enjoy life and just free yourself because nobody's actually promised to know. She's good with knowing what would probably last for a week and what would work for a month. I, like I said earlier, they are more disciplined with money. A woman who only buy things that, well, f using my wife as a, as a case study, she only buy things that are needed.